Oh, uh, what's going on, Bird Gang? Big Country coming to you from the Bird. Good morning. Um, happy Monday to y'all. Um, already just went out of the gate. I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, you know, congrats to the Dallas Cowboys for, um, you know, for pulling out the victory uh, against the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday night. Um, hard fought win. But unfortunately, we didn't do enough to seal the victory. Uh, for one, we don't have a run game at all. And the run game we do have, you know, we're not utilizing. Um, you know, Josh Adams had, I believe, seven carries for uh, 47 yards. Or, yeah, four, or either nine carries or, or se either seven carries or nine carries for um, 47 yards. Uh, and that is um, not good at all, um, you know. And also, you know, we really didn't utilize Golden Tate. You know, we picked him up. Everyone was so excited to see what he was going to do. You know, uh, Doug Peterson, you know, was hinting that, you know, they kind of fit him in. And he didn't really do anything. He really didn't. Um, he had how many touches? I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure right now how many touches he had. But this game really showed us who we were. You know, I, I said in my last video, you know, I, I got all excited. You know, I said we were going to dominate this game and blah, blah, blah. And we were far from that. We were far from that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the heck's going on with this defense, but something's got to give man Jim Schwartz has to go somebody somebody has to go because it's not working you know to go uh you know all our uh safeties and corners you know right at the first down line on third down doing the prevent defense like what kind of crap is that you only do that when there's like no time on the clock and you know you got to prevent them from from winning the game and it almost cost us the first time you know luckily we we uh you know, we got it the second time, but like, what is, I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. You know, I, I was so, so amped up, so excited for this game, you know, especially uh, coming off our bye week, you know, we were, we were supposed to produce and we're not producing at all on both sides of the ball. Offense isn't doing their job. The O-line is still getting pummeled. Uh, you know, Lane Johnson wasn't in, so I think he had Vitae in his place, and, you know, he held his own, he held his own, but, you know, again, we don't have a running game, and defense just, is just trash, the whole, defense as a whole, um, like, what happened to the, the best defense, you know, in the league, it's not there, you know, we made, uh, you know, we made, Miss Dickie Elliott, uh, 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 a lucky man, you know, not not a rich man, but a lucky man, you know, because he was just running all up and down the field. Oh, excuse me, guys. He was just running all up and down the field on us. But I knew if we lost this game, our season would be over. Not saying the season is over, but we're we're treading on thin ice you know we have we go to new orleans next week we're definitely not gonna win that game especially not especially if we play like we played uh last night we're definitely not winning that game you know new orleans is just gonna have their way with us michael thomas is gonna have his way with us alvin kamara is gonna have his way with us everybody on that team is gonna have their way with us we cannot 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 seem to close out these games. And of course, we leave it up to Carson Wentz to close out these games, and we can't do that because he's not getting it done. He is not getting it done. And not blaming this loss on him because um, because that's not what I'm doing. But, he, like I said, he's just not getting it done. You know, that interception uh, in the first quarter was was ridiculous. Where what happened? I, I I keep going. I keep going to last year, and I know I shouldn't because this is not last year's team. This is this year's team. 
And, you know, everyone keeps saying again about this Super Bowl hangover. And, you know, we're not helping the situation losing these games. And it's not like we're getting blown out by these teams. We're losing by, like, three points, touchdowns. It's ridiculous. This is our third home loss. Our third one. I, I, something's got to give, y'all. Something's got to give. You know, I'm not bashing. I'm not bashing the Philadelphia Eagles, but it, it, our season will be done quick if if we keep playing like this. Do we still have a chance to win the win the division? Quite possibly, but the way the Rams, or not the Rams. Um, turn this off. Sorry, y'all. But the way the um, the Redskins are playing. We're not winning this division. And, you know, the Cowboys, they're slowly creeping up. Now we're two games behind uh, the Redskins. And what are you, like, what's what, I don't, what's the deal, y'all? What's the deal? Why can't we finish games? I'll tell you why. Again, I go back to our running game. We don't have a steady running game. When we had Jay Ajayi and LeGarrette Blunt, we had the running game. We had two players that can get the ball you know, get the ball down the field, and, you know, when we needed it, they got the yards. Um, Corey Clement, Wendell Smallwood, y'all have highly disappointed me. Highly disappointed me. Like, seriously. Um, Josh Adams, you know, I'm very impressed with you, but you're just not, you're not getting enough carries, man. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. You know, Doug Peter, Peterson keeps saying it's the new norm. <laughs> we don't, if losing is the new norm, you know, maybe we need a new head coach. I don't know. Because that's, that's what it seems like. You know, that we're four and six now. Or not four and six. We're four and five now. And we have seven games left. So what are we going to do about it? Like I said, we're definitely not winning in New Orleans. Definitely not. Especially playing like we're playing. It's, it, it's defense. Like, I, I don't I don't understand our defense right now. I don't. I don't. You know, in the bye week, you think you're supposed to make adjustments. You're supposed to change the scheme. Yes, we were getting pressure on um, Dak Prescott. But we seem to stop pressuring at the worst times. I, I don't. I don't get that at all. I don't know what Jim Schwartz is thinking. I don't know. I don't know. It's just it's just crazy. We went from Super Bowl champs to quite possibly not even making the playoffs. But they have nobody to blame but themselves because they're not executing and they're not finishing out these games. Play calling for one is just trash. Like really. So I don't, I don't know. Again, congrats to the Dallas Cowboys, you know, cause I talked all the trash in the world. Y'all saw my last video. You know, I was so hype. I was so confident in the Eagles, especially at home coming off a of bye week. And we crumbled under the pressure. We really did. So needless to say, the Eagles season, um, is over. I'm just I'm just going to call it our our season is over. And sure, I'm sure I'll hear, you know, I'm a bandwagon fan. I'm a fake fan. <clears throat> I'm a fake fan, blah blah blah, but we're not winning any more games, especially cuz we can't score more than 20 points. That's ridiculous. We when we can't score more than 20 points, and it's been like that all season, except except when we play the Giants. But we got lucky because the Giants suck. So, I would say on to the next one. Yeah, on to the next one. So, it's going to be a tough one, but hopefully we can get it done. You know, we have, uh, I think, three more division games. We have to play uh, Redskins twice, and then we have Dallas again on December 9th. So, you know, if we win, if we beat, if we win all those division games, hopefully, you know, that can save our season. Cause we're what one and one in the division. Mm -hmm. So if we go, if we win, win out the division, we're what four and one. But it's that's not looking like it's gonna happen. Us winning the division or winning anything, anything. So I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised what happens from here. You know, like I said, I'm I'm not getting my hopes up anymore. I'm not getting too hype. 
you know, I'll still, I'm still going to do my videos regardless, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not expecting anything because it seems like when we expect to make a run and be dominant, this is what happens. We let create, we let teams creep up and beat us. So now this is, this is all the ammunition Dallas needed now, you know, um, uh, Skip Bayless, he done already put his Dallas gear back on, so I'm sure he'll say, you know, the Dallas is, Dallas is the best team in the league, how Dak Prescott is the best quarterback in the league, and, you know, it, it, nobody, again, nobody's fault but ours. <clears throat> God, excuse me, y'all, my throat. But, on to the next one, y'all. I mean, nothing we can do. On to the next one. So, we have uh, the New Orleans Saints, or we travel to New Orleans to play the New Orleans Saints. Uh, one o'clock, not expecting much. You know, if we win, good. If we, uh, But I'm pretty confident that we will not win this game. So, I'm, I'm sure that's that's harsh to say, but if we lose, when we lose this game, our season will definitely be over. So, I'm, I'm just calling it. Our season will be over. So I'm not, you know, I bleed green all day, every day, win or lose, but we're not, we're not the, we're not that, we're not the hungry team that we were last year. And I, I got to stop going back to last year, but I, I, I have to do it because they seemed hungry last year. You know, they, they had, we were underdogs and, and the Eagles right now, they're not playing with a chip on their shoulder. You know, everyone keeps saying that the Eagles have a Super Bowl hangover and we're proving it every week. Every week. So, I don't know. Again, congrats to Dallas Cowboys on the 27-20 win. You know, Eagles couldn't close it out, of course. Uh, we acquired Golden Tate and didn't use him at all. So, it's another day in the neighborhood. So, that is my time. Fly, Eagles, fly. Blue, we agree, win, lose. And y'all know what to do. Always make somebody smile. I'm out of here. Peace.